Hello! In this views introduction course, we are going to play with the some features of this framework. But first, what is view? View is a framework that allows us to program JavaScript, but as a reactive way. Briefly, I can say both. Reactive programming give us more power to manipulate HTML pages and allow us to write less code to achieve powerful results. So let's create our example. First, I will make using classic JavaScript and then I will make the same example using Vue. Uh, as a tool, I am using Visual Studio Code but you can use any your preferred editor, as uh, Sublime or Atom. Here, as you can see, I have a simple HTML screen made up with a div and two buttons. At div, I have the message hello world, and I would like that a button, when it has been clicking, hide this div. And the other button, when I click, shows up. So let's do it. Using classic JavaScript, we have we create a script section and two functions. Function show and function hide. Also I put an ID in the IV tag. Let's say ID equals div show and then I use the property on click in each button but the one on click calls function show button two on click calls function hide inside inside JavaScript function use down library I will find the div I can use document dot get element by id I put my id here div show and now I have an object inside this object I have another child another child object with name style. Style has a property display. Display equals nothing is the full behavior. That means is visible. So I copy semicode, but I need to put other value to hide div. To hide the div, I put style equals none. Let's try. As you can see, button hide, button show. In classical Doom JavaScript, we need to search HTML elements and then we use his properties to manipulate your behavior or manipulate your actions. In reactive programming, things change. Now the HTML element will react to view property. Let's see in the next example. Hello, in the next class, let's make the same previous example, but now using view framework. Now the HTML elements will react with a view object, pretty similar to a desktop development when you have a screen component pointing to variable and this company reacting if this value is change if this value is variable changes in view is pretty similar so we have our div and two buttons again first step we need install view there are three ways to install in our project but let's use the easy way Let's let's install that is just copy production URL and paste in our HTML page. So now 
I create a script section and next step to hurt is create a view object that's pretty similar to create a JavaScript object. Uh, I just I just type var ap equals new view. Then now I have my first view object. Next step, I need to inform its scope. For this, I create an, a new div and I give an id property which I call api. Then I inform property el hashtag id value hashtag api. Also, in a view object, we have some properties and each one has a specific objective. I will create a property method, which is responsible to group our functions. Similar to previous classic JavaScript example, I create two functions, hide and function show. And also, in view object, we have another property called data. Inside data, we create variables. When we can store, we can store any value we need. Um, and any variable created in these sections is reactive. So my variable create here inside data is and uh, is responsible to change the behavior on HTML elements. So my first variable I should create show div and put his default value equals true. When I call hide function then the view must assign a value false to this variable. When I call show function, then view must assign a value true to show the IV. Inside the view object, if I need to call uh, this on object function, data or any other section, we shall use the received word this. This dot show the IV equals true. This dot show the IV equals false. And then we can wonder how does make div react to show the IV property and how does make a button call view function. We have a, di a directive called vf v hyphen f Directives are similar to HTML properties. In fact, we use that in same place after HTML elements, but between the signals is less than and is more than. But directives belongs to view framework. And we recognize a directive by V hyphen in start name. Our first directive V hyphen F then I put vf underscore show div. Then my div will render only if this variable is true. If false, then jvhtml and any child inside it not be rendered. Another must use uh, directive is von. Von enables we call any HTML event but point automatically to a view objective functions. In HTML we have click property. When I use click, as we see in the previous example, um, when I use click, we call a JavaScript function. Now if I use V on column click, now I call a view function. So I put V 
on column click equals underscore show so when I click at this button I call show function same way I put b on click equals hide in my second button and then let's try right now okay hide and show button hide and show as you can see each button has this intended behavior I would like to point out that when we create a JavaScript object we must use a comma after each property and after each function as you can see here is a JavaScript object likewise in a view object we must follow the same rule at first glance in our example we can see we typed more to get the same result with the view compared as classic JavaScript but in practice when your screens get too big manipulate many HTML elements becomes faster and with less code if you do it reactively using view framework I would like to show a little bit um, before we get into more directives let's play around with the power of the VF directive for a while if for example, I want to hide the button which will have not function at the screen. I can use the same variable show div and indicate what the button should be displayed according to the value of this variable. For example, the hide button only needs to be displayable when show div equals true and the show button only when it is equals false I can I can say div I can say show div equals equals false or use the exclamation point or to do the same thing let's test all right amazing since I have the show div variable already I can reuse it for any component before continuing just an addendum about the received word this inside view object we must use this if we need to use a method data or other section properties. However, in our HTML inside view scope div app, we don't need use this. Okay. Next directive I would like to introduce is vmodel. It's able to do a two-way data property relationship. That is when we use the vmodel means we are going to provide a value to an HTML element and also this element can change the property value through the model. In practice, the model is more used in input elements, for example, input text. Now I create a property name and I am binding to the V model of an input text and let's see what happens. I, I, I also want to write it, this property's name. I can use two keys, open and closing. So name inside. Let me put some div 
uh, I think it's okay. Let's try. Now, when I am typing in input text, also view is changing the properties value. And the same example is valid for all the HTML tags that we normally use in a HTML form. As example, text area, select, radio, checkbox. Each of these can use the model. Another directive I would like to show is VHML. VHML does exactly what two cases do. Write property value. In this in this case, I can I also can use VHML equals name in my div. And we will have the same result. Let's try. Making our example more and more powerful, let's now look at the V4 directive. V4 is able to repeat HTML elements according to a variable of type array. Now I write HTML table, so my header has column, name, the cell, and I write the table body. In the table body, I put two rows, and I want to put two names in each row. Name one and name two. Let's see. As you can see, our table has static rows, static values. And now, I want to replace static values to dynamic values from a property list. Now I create an array property. I give a name uh, list and I type two brackets to inform that is array. Inside brackets I put two JavaScript objects at positions 0 and 1. I just do it using keys name property, column, and, and names values. Bind HTML rows from list variable, I use before directive. I write before inside line HTML table element tr, and I declare local variable item, just writing underscore item and list item in list list is our global scope variable and item is a local variable now any tr child element can be right using local variable item i write td that is a table cell key key item dot name okay let's see before also can give us array index of each item i just change before to parentheses item comma index in list and now in any cell inside tr element i can write index 2 so let's write index okay let's try now we can use together input text and list when i type a text in our input i would like added this text to our list array. I just need a button and a function add to do it. In 
my button I type on click add and now I create a function add add needs property name and array list there are some methods to manipulate JavaScript array I use push to add a new object in our list this dot list dot push parentheses key open name column property this name and after I clean this name let's try I type my name click add and now my name belongs to list array in classic JavaScript to show a table HTML with some array list data I can guarantee it would be much more work we can also remove an item of array list we create a function remove this function receives argument index we can use array javascript function splice um, this dot list dot splice parentheses index comma one and now I need a button in each table row I just type a new cell and a button inside tr and in this button I put v on click equals underscore remove parentheses index I think is enough let's test if it works now we are cleaning our A2 Another interesting feature of view object is ability to observe if a specific data property has any change on its value. The name of this feature is watch. I just create a section in my object watch colon and now I put the name of a property I want to observe. In this example I create a property ID underline user and I use the model on select bind to ID user inside my select I create a list of options uh, maybe three is okay I'm already using the model pointing to my ID user property and just to see chance I write ID user below let's see now I change select option and we see ID user has changed in value another interesting directive is vbind this directive enables use any HTML property in a just one way relationship so in this case I create a new list property list 2 and I put some index objects now I use v4 to create select options children and use vbind to replace property value also vbind can be reduced to only a column column value is same than vbind column value now value is enabled to use item ID let's see on browser back in to watch I am asking view what ID user and now every time when ID user value changes this function is colored so I create a counter to increment every time it is occur 
I create a property count, the food value is zero, and now inside what? Let's increment. Finishing, let's write counter. I think is enough. Let's try. Finishing our free view introductory course, I would like to say that there are many more resources than we have seen in these classes, as examples, computed probes, component creation, routes, webpack installation, view CLI installation. View has many features for creating powerful web applications. I hope very soon produce a more complete course making a real web application and using as much resource as I know. So let's create a less and more realistic ex exercise using requisitions to an API. This working model is widely used today where JavaScript makes a request to a server and receives a JSON object data and then use that JSON data to create some results in our HTML page. I researched to free API and found a GitHub URL with a list of public API. And today, July 25, 2021, Meet Museum API is online and I choose that. So, to create our requisitions, let's use Axios. Axios normally use Promise. Promise returns then when it's success and catch when server has any kind of uh, error status. So, we also can use a sync function. I prefer. Uh, we can use a sync and a wait. So it's more cleaner without without then or cat. It's just uh, you can you can choose what you prefer. I prefer use a uh, sync. So let's create uh we have in our meet museum api some some methods and we have the uh, endpoints we call it th these methods as endpoints we have endpoint to list departments we have endpoint to object and we have endpoint to search to my proposition is create is create a page when we choose a department after choose department we we know the number of objects and we can make any kind of random choose and shows up image of these objects this random object chosen so for example Egyptian art so in my my random object has not made but in some moment when I choose the object has any kind of image local ring dial I don't know what is that <laughs> but is a is a meet museum API is very interesting because we can use without any kind of login and password is our public. So let's create this powerful example from zero here. First, uh, first I would like to say about mounted. View object has life cycle. So there are some methods that is colored in every 
in each in, in, in every view object that you create so one of these methods is mounted mounted is called before views is ready to screen to to open at the screen um, how can I say better okay before our object is ready to show at the screen view calls mounted method in practice we declare mounted when we need to load data before use our view object so we let's let's load data from our api and let's use mountain to do this kind of work to make server requisitions let's use axios axios is a free and short library in interesting axios has some examples here in our view object first i would like to create a method load departments and i need to say that ob object that function is a think a think function and i need to use a wait with axios is a kind of var response equals await axios get u url url let's copy from here v1 departments so let's copy here and also can log result of this this call uh, I can I can console log this result and I call load departments I call I call load departments at mounted function let's see our example and if you, we can see developer developer two in console we have the results of these methods the results of endpoint departments this endpoint returns json object data and each of object data has property departments department is array in each of array object we have department id and display name as properties so let's create a select and bind options to departments array list first i create select i would like to use vmodel the departments let's create a property id department and now option uh, vbind value option close option and v4 i need uh, i need put result data result in in appropriate here i would like to create a property called lists inside lists i put any kind of list i may need during my my exercise and so i put list departments uh, let's copy let's copy here departments and now after i get my response 
let's put data here these lists departments equals response data I don't remember exactly data departments let's just copy and paste here to guarantee there are equal right uh, okay I, I think it's equal so before item in list departments we bind value item dot department ID and write display name item dot display name alright I can I now so I can create a property to say if it's loading if it's in process of loading I can say loading false and here uh, start my function I put loading true and on f end of function I put th this loading false is interesting to say user with JavaScript is just loading any kind of data so I can create div v hyphen loading I put a message to user and I can show show select only if loading is false loading is false uh, I also I also can put uh, a more powerful v hyphen using list departments length more than zero it's not necessary but just to to use just to make our example more powerful so I can if I reload we have a load message and now we have a list of departments alright uh, I th let's put some label here departments br okay after after select after we select department we can also call another function to list our object our object of this department so I think we can use watch or also we can use the on change and create some function as select objects and send item on argument is just a kind of um, preference I don't know what you what I can choose mm. let's use watch let's use watch but we could use the on chain to department function when ID department has changed we call this function so I think we can create another another function I think uh, load objects load objects let's copy from here await get collect API museum na 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 object department IDs this department ID so another interesting test is if just ID department 
is not null and is not undefined value and only if id department is, is a valid va it has a valid value we can call load objects function oh boy it's just amazing and let's use console log to see response all right let's test uh, more tools development tools la 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 asian art all right when i choose asian art we have data object ids and a total of uh, 36,000 objects is a big JSON data. So I don't need all of these IDs. We could create any kind of gallery, but uh, I let to your imagination. Let's continue our simple example. Now I choose ID department. I have objects. And I would like to randomize. I would like to get a, a random, a random ID and shows up at the screen. I have this function. I copy from Google. And now I need to know in our response. I have total. I have objects ID. So I can use this total property var random id equals uh, this get random integer starts from zero and ends of response data total i can't use a total of of indexes so i need put total minus one because array indexes in javascript all right i have a random id and it's not a random id it's a random indexes random index and now we have a random in random index let's now random id that is response data uh, i need copy object obis, oh my god object ids and object ids is a array so i put random index inside brackets and now i have a random object id to show um I I think we are ready to use another function. I call C object. C object has another endpoint V1 objects and we we send ID here. So I call C object passing random ID as argument. So uh, before I I have put console log, I let me create a object first property to put our first object in our in our object endpoint, and now let's use this kind of data. So we have random index random id i think we can we can save random id in property too let's say random id zero and now let's save random id equals random random id global variable is equal random id local variable we we can write random here 
let's put some div if objective first if objective first is null or undefined or is null or undefined div does not show but if it is a, a valid value as integer or object so div, div will show so we got object we pass object first and let's write result of this let's put first object and we need to know what data let's use console log and let's go from console development tools so refresh ancient used na 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 and here we have data of object is a uh, too many properties we have a property colored title we have a property colored primary image so let's use title first object column let's write object first dot title and let's copy primary image sometimes object has not image so we can use another vf image binder crs src so object first dot primary image again we use the vf but now vf on image we can just copy object first dot primary image and if his object has primary image so let's see image below all right we have we oh my god is a big is a very big image around the with federation of the kings adoration of the kings ah is uh jesus christ is jesus christ uh, i think virgin blessed mary san san jose oh it's beautiful it's a beautiful painting but is too large let's some um, put a limitation of size here so max width 400 pixels mm, I think it's okay refresh department arch of Asia, Oceania and Americans loading fish object on the plate I don't know what is that Asian art Natsuki of assorted flowers and now you have created a view example and we are now ab some about art I hope you enjoyed this course and I hope we can see in any moment in the future. Thank you. See ya.